Now we should be ready to move the files from the engine project into the new projects. We'll cut and paste the files and folders out of engine into the new places, and then we will rename the namespaces. So instead of being engine.viewmodels, for example, uh, like here in this class, the game session class, this will be namespace soscsrpg.viewmodels. If you're watching the video on YouTube, you might want to watch it on the support page because there are some places where we cut and paste files and other places where we cut and paste folders. And you want to make sure that you're doing the correct thing. Uh, so hopefully between the video and the steps in the lesson, you'll be able to replicate what I'm doing here. And I'll also add that you don't actually have to change the namespace to match the project and folder structure. That's just a, a common way that most programmers do it. And if we add more services, view models, models, uh, those will, by default, Visual Studio will create those with the namespace that matches the project and folder structure. So we don't want to have some of our view models, for example, in engine.viewmodels and others in soscsrpg.viewmodels. They're view models in the same project, so they should have the same namespace. And speaking of the game session class, let's, let's start there. We'll go into the engine project and select the game session class in the view models folder, right click on it and cut. And then we'll find the soscsrpg.viewmodels project, right click on that and paste. Next we'll get the services. So we'll scroll up to the engine services folder and select the two service classes, game detail service and save game service. Right click on those, cut, and then go down to soscsrpg.services, right click on that, and paste. So they're at the top level of that new project. Then we'll go up to the factories folder in the engine project and we'll right click on the folder this time and cut that and we will paste that into soscsrpg.services. So now in the soscsrpg.services our main services are at the root and our factories are underneath the factories folder. We have all these errors that Hopefully we'll be able to fix up uh, in, a, in a minute. Next we'll move the models out of the engine class. So we'll go into engine models folder and we will select the files here, not the folder. So just shift left click to get them all and we will cut and paste these into SOSC, soscsrpg.models. Okay, so here they are all at the root of that project. Then we are going to get the actions folder from the engine project. Right click on the folder, cut that, paste it into soscsrpg.models, and do the same thing with the shared folder. We'll right click on the folder, cut the folder, and paste it into the models. And if we take a quick look at the engine project, uh, this is basically empty. There's an app config file that doesn't have anything meaningful in it, and then the Fody Weavers file, which we'll, we'll delete in a minute. So now we have to update the namespace and the using directives. And in the XAML files, you'll see we've got the uh, namespace and assemblies. We need to update these to match the new namespace structure for the new projects. We'll do that by doing control shift H. Uh, this is the find and replace. What we want to do is make sure none of the match case, match whole words, or regular expressions are checked. These should all be unchecked. We want to look in the entire solution. This drop down will let you narrow it down, but we want the entire solution. And for our file types, we want this the string that I'm going to paste in the support page. 
Uh, basically, this says everything that is not in the bin directory, the OBJ directory, or a dot directory, which would be kind of a top-level hidden files. And we have five replaces that we want to do. And hopefully that should get this all. I'm doing this live, so we'll see if anything is missing. We want to replace engine.factories with sosesrpg.services.factories. I'll do a replace all. And that says nine occurrences replaced. Then we want to replace engine.actions with soscsrpg.models.action. Models.actions. Do a replace all. This says six occurrences replaced. Then we want to replace engine.shared with soscsrpg.models.shared. Okay, this has 11 occurrences replaced. So those were all the folders that we wanted to do first because those are a little bit more detailed level. Now we want to do assembly equals engine to assembly equals soscsrpg dot view models. Quick editing note, I typed assembly with an uppercase A and it needs to be a lowercase A. I corrected that later on, uh, not during the video. So this will fix the XAML page for the uh, assembly reference. We have three occurrences there. And then finally we're going to do just a general engine dot that we will replace with soscsrpg dot and do a replace all. And this says 55 occurrences. Next we need to make a manual correction in the startup.xaml window. The namespace and the data context, we're using a game details object for the data context. And that is a model, not a view model. We should probably fix this at some point, but for right now, we're going to solve the problem by changing the XML namespace. Uh, instead of calling it view models, we'll call it models. And we will point the namespace and assembly to soscsrpg.models. And then in the data context, We'll reference this model's namespace and get the game details object from there. Okay, now I'm doing this live, so we will check this. Uh, if I look at my resharper, it says six errors in five files. So I'm going to click this to see where it says the errors are. So world add location is inaccessible to protection level. Okay, so we, ha we have a few things that are... Uh, that were internal that probably need to be made public. We'll take a look at the first one. I'll just uh, double click on this error for world ad location is inaccessible. Let's see. So let's go look at the world class. And here's our internal ad location that we need to make public and let's check the next error world factory create world so let's go into our soscsrpg.services factories world factory and find the create world and again that's internal so we need to make this public and let's check this next one, World Factory. Okay, it looks like the World Factory is internal. Yes, so the whole class here is internal. We need to make that public. And let's do a build clean, build rebuild, and 
see what the errors are. Okay. We have a couple projects that still have a project reference to the engine project, which doesn't have anything in it. So we will go into the soscsrpg.viewmodels project. We can just either double click on the error or in Solution Explorer, just uh, click on the, double click on the project and we will delete that reference line. And we'll do the same thing with the WPF UI project. We'll delete the line to the engine project. And of course the final step, as always, is rebuild it and run it. See if the game still works. Okay, we get our startup screen. If we change the race, the modified values change. We go into the game, we see inventory, our recipes, let's craft the granola bar. Okay, that changed. Okay, are we moving? We see the snake. We fight the snake. We get experience in gold. So our gold went up by one. Our experience is five. Our hit points are changing. It looks like it all worked. So now let's uh, stop this game. And I'm going to go into Independ. We'll look at the dashboard. Our coding debt has decreased. Uh, it used to be, I think, around 7.6 or 7.8. So that's good. And if we look at the dependency graph, we now see all these one direction lines between the different projects, which is good. And now we have a much, much more stable base to build the future changes for the game on. If you have any questions or problems with this, uh, this is a big change, so it wouldn't be surprising to have a problem. Just uh, leave a comment below the video or on the support page, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible.